Hi everyone, welcome back to Izzy Couponing. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Arcelli. Hopefully everyone's having a great day. I appreciate everyone clicking on today's video. As we all know by now, couponing has changed over the years and it looks very different from when I first started couponing a few years ago. So if you've been watching my videos, my overall goal when couponing is to stack savings and one way is through rebates. So with everything being online and digital now, why not earn back money when shopping for items that you need and want? Rebates are another great option to save money and pay less out of pocket. In today's video, I wanted to go over how to earn free money through rebates, specifically the P&G rebates offered on the pggoodeveryday.com site, since many of the products that I purchased for myself and family are P&G products. So you'll want to type in pggoodeveryday.com and it will take you to the login page. Now you must be logged in to the PNG Good Every Day to request a rebate. However, if you don't have an account, you'll need to click on Become a Member, and on the next page, you'll need to complete the three boxes by adding your first name, email address, password, and check the box and click on Create Account. Once you're logged in, on the top left-hand side, you'll click on the three lines and it will ask you what you're looking for. As you can see, there are many options such as earn points by taking a survey, taking a quiz, and scanning your receipts for purchasing PNG products, and earn points from each receipt. Plus, you'll earn back rewards such as digital gift cards just by simply scanning your receipts. There's also an option for coupons where you can print paper coupons for specific PNG products, but they do expire within 24 hours, so you'll want to print the day that you're planning on couponing. But let's go ahead and click on rebates. Now currently there are a couple of rebates available. You can actually view the available rebates by clicking on the drop down arrow. There's a made to save rebate and good as gold rebate. You will need to submit requests separately for each rebate. So let's look at the made to save rebate since it's valid for purchases through June 30th. But the good as gold will also work the exact same way. There are two options. Get $15 when you spend $50, or get $5 when you spend $20 via a prepaid Visa card, by mail when you purchase products from the following brands. So you'll want to ensure that you're buying products that are included and qualifying for each rebate. There's a listing here with all the eligible PNG brands such as Tide, Gain, Bounce, Downy, Nine Elements Laundry, Bounty, Charmin, Cascade, Dawn, Gillette Shave, Venus, Olay Body, Olay Skin, Crest Toothpaste, Oral B Power, Vicks, Pampers, Herbal Essence, and Head and & Shoulders. Here's a quick tip. One way to ensure that you're picking up eligible items while you're shopping in store is by adding the 12-digit UPC code for the PNG product in this box here and verify if it's an eligible item for the rebate. And also on the very top here, there's a phone number to call their rebate customer service and speak to someone that can verify if the PNG product is included. Now, to redeem this rebate, you will need to complete and submit the following form below. But please note, the rebate excludes trial and travel size. Rebate applies to the price paid after any coupon, including registry rewards or discounts, and before taxes have been applied. Offer valid for products purchased between April 1st through June 30th. And it's limit two submissions per household. Now, you may submit multiple receipts for any single rebate. However, each receipt can only be submitted once across all PG Good Everyday rebates, meaning you cannot use the same receipt twice. So what I like to do is wait until I have $50 worth of PNG products before submitting receipts for a rebate so that I can get back the maximum value, which in this case is a $15 prepaid Visa card. So let's look at the top section. It's your contact information. So you'll need to fill in all boxes with your personal information. And the next section is the purchase information. So under the first box where it asks for a retailer, if you have more than one receipt, you'll only need to add the most recent retailer and add the purchase date from that receipt. And under the receipt total, you'll need to enter the combined totals from all receipts. For example, let's look at this receipt from Walgreens. So you'll need to look at the subtotal amount on the receipt when calculating the spend requirement of $20 or $50. So once you added all the subtotals from all your receipts, you'll need to add that amount under receipt total here. And then you can move on to the next section. Well, you'll need to add the UPC codes, the quantity of the eligible items, and the price paid for each eligible item. Now, the 12-digit UPC code is typically located on the back or the bottom of your P&G product, or it may be located on the receipt. Walgreens receipts will have the numbers for the UPC code, all except for the last number. So when you're typing in the number, usually it's the first item that will pop up. So you'll want to select the item you purchased. 
So if you're looking at this Walgreens receipt, let's look at the Venus razor here. The UPC code is located here. So we can add that number to the form and select the item purchased. Next box, you'll add the total quantity of the item purchased. So going back to the Walgreens receipt, one Venus razor was purchased. So you'll want to add the number one to the form. And for the next box, the price paid for each item will need to be calculated after coupons, including store rewards such as registry rewards and discounts have been applied. So I'm going to show you how I calculate the price paid. And if you have any specific questions, please call and speak to someone in their customer service to walk you through how store rewards are applied to each eligible item. However, I do know that Walgreens cash and gift cards do not affect the subtotal. Now, I'm going to use this Walgreens receipt as an example and go over a few different scenarios and walk you through how I would do things. Starting off with the first scenario, all items purchased are eligible items, and let's pretend that we did not use store rewards. So the purchase price is the price listed for each product, as no store rewards or discounts were used. For example, you will add the purchase price of $9.99 for the Venus Razor on the form, and then you'll click Add Item and finish adding the rest of the eligible items. Next, second scenario, all items purchased are eligible items, and after store rewards discounts are applied, it's meeting the spend requirement. So the easiest way that I have found to calculate the price paid when store rewards are applied is to divide the subtotal by the number of eligible items purchased. So for this receipt, I would divide the subtotal of $50.98 by six eligible items, which equals approximately $8.49. So I would add this amount under price paid, then I'll click on add item and finish adding the rest of the eligible items with the $8.49 for each item. And a third scenario, which is probably gonna be the most common, let's say the last item was not qualifying. So if I were to look at this Walgreens receipt again, if the last item was not qualifying, again, the easiest way that I have found is to deduct the cost of the item that's not qualifying from the subtotal. So I would deduct the $9.99 from the subtotal of $50.98, so that's going to leave the subtotal now to be $40.99. And I would simply divide that by the number of eligible items on the receipt. So $40.99 divided by five items is going to equal approximately $8.19 per item. This would be the amount that I would add where it's asking for the price for each item. Then I would click Add Item and finish adding the rest of the eligible items. Next step is to upload a picture of your receipt or receipts, but make sure to capture the store information and date. But before you upload, you'll need to circle the subtotal and you'll also need to circle each eligible line item or each qualifying PG product on the receipt. So on this receipt, each item purchased qualifies for the made to save rebate. So you can go ahead and circle them all, including the subtotal and upload. And finally, check both boxes and you'll click submit. And this is how I submit for the PNG rebates. The first time around, it did take longer than expected, but now it only takes me a few minutes. It's a bit more challenging when store rewards and discounts have been applied, but it's not impossible. One thing I do want to point out, I did not get an email of approval or denial. I simply got the Visa card through the mail. So hopefully this video was helpful and helped answer some of the questions you may have. If you have any questions, leave me a comment, or as I mentioned earlier, it may be best to call the rebate customer service number with your questions. As always, if you enjoyed these type of videos, please support my channel by clicking on that like, subscribe, and notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Bye everyone, happy couponing!